how to subtract type from shapes in Illustrator. I'm using CC220. So create an ellipse or it could be a rectangle or any other shape. Then go over to the type tool and type something. Lorem Ipsum. Now you can go and change the font. Use any of the fonts. Also you can resize of course the type. Place it over the ellipse you've just created. Reposition it. And once you've done that, what you need to do is object menu and expand. I'm just going to quickly change the font. Go to object menu and expand. And I've got the object set there. Click OK. Now you can still reposition it. It's now an object. No longer type. Select both of the shapes and then go to Window and Pathfinder. You can see the Pathfinder panel there. I've already got it. So go to the Pathfinder and second item, second button along. Click the Subtract. And now you can see through the shape. So it's been subtracted. The type has been subtracted. Now that's fixed. That's it. You can't change lorem ipsum. Can't reposition it, all that sort of thing. But what you can do, you can use effects. And that's a much easier way because it's live. This time I'm going to use a star. Again, create some type. Again, lorem ipsum. You can change the color or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can change the font. And you can reposition it on top of the shape. So once you've done that, what you need to do then is go to Object Menu and you group them. You need to group them for this to work. So Object and Group. Now once you've done that, you can go to the Effect menu. And there's an option there, Pathfinder. And then force subtract. Now this is live, so what you can do, you can still manipulate the type. If you want to do that, you need to go to the type inside that shape, hover over it, and now double click. Now you obviously can manipulate the group, but you can double click that lorem ipsum, and you can see you can isolate the type. And you can then move it around. It's still live. You can resize it, rotate it. But what you can also do, you can also change the text as well. So you can exit out at any point. Just go up to the top, top left, and there's an option there. Exit isolation mode. So once you're outside there, you can then move the group around. You can see again, see through it, but it's still live. So you can again, double click on the type. So you can then continue to move it around, but you can also go to the type tool, select there, and then select some of the type, maybe replace it with some other type. D, 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 whatever. And again, you could, of course, change the font as well, if you wish. And you can reposition it, and then again, go to the top, top left, and exit isolation mode. And then you've got it still live until you expand the appearance. So to expand the appearance, just go to object menu and expand appearance. You can also, of course, use multiple paths as well. So I've created a rectangle, I've created a circle, and now I've got some type on top of the lot. I can move that around. And of course, I don't have to use that type, just quickly show you it's on top. You've got the type, type tool, just create something like lorem. Then you can move it over, obviously on top of all of those paths. 
resize it, rotate it. And once you've done that, what you need to do is go to select all of those parts. So all of them now selected, go to the object menu and then go to a group. What you can then do, you can go to the effect menu, again down to Pathfinder and subtract. Now this is still live. Of course, the other paths, the circles, etc., they've also been subtracted as well. But I wanted to show you, you can subtract type from multiple paths. And what you can do, you can double click on that lorem or whatever you've typed, of course. And you're in isolation mode then. And you can move it around, you can change the font. You can also go and add some more type, maybe lorem one. Or S, whatever you want to type. You don't have to course keep lorem, you could change it to something else. Then exit out of isolation mode by the top left. And that's it. You can see now you've got your type still live and you can still go and modify it later. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphicasia channel. Always any new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop and many, many other applications. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.